I always said to myself, I don't think I'm going to make any decisions about staying in a country or going to another country based on a relationship or a man. But somehow I think I ended up staying in Taiwan longer because of a man. But it's not exactly what you guys think. Hello, my name is Felicia. Most of my friends know two things about me. That I'm writing a book and I'm Taiwanese. I believe in the power of personal stories to inform and educate. That's why I've been working on writing the biography of Su Bing, lifelong Taiwan independence activist, historian, and author of this three volume, 2000 page book, Taiwan's 400 Years of History. This book took about 18 years to write and has influenced generations of Taiwan independence activists and continues to do so. Su Bing is a controversial, complex character, much like Malcolm X or Nelson Mandela. Through it all, the one thing that he's always been fighting for could be summed up simply as this, the fight for social justice for the people of Taiwan. Well, I've decided that it's time to complete this project and I'm giving myself three months to do it. I haven't been back to Taiwan for over five years. So I've decided to quit my job to take a self-imposed sabbatical and spend it in Taiwan to complete my research. Yes, it's actually happening and I'm going through with it. But I need your help. I need your help and support to push me to the finish line. This project is not just about telling the untold story of Su Bing's life, but in the bigger scheme of things, it's also about the story of Taiwan, the people of Taiwan. It's about their struggle under a dictatorship that imposed one of the longest periods of martial law in world history. This project is about injustice and the very basic human need for freedom and for our voices to be heard. That is the story of Taiwan, and that was the story of my parents. My father was a professor at the University of Alaska and a U.S. green card holder when he married my mother in Taiwan, but she was not permitted to leave Taiwan with him by the government. They were separated for nearly a year with my father in Alaska and my mother in Taiwan. What kind of government would deny people this basic right to come and go as they please? This is the question in my child's mind that was at the root of all of my curiosity. It's led to my years of work in the Taiwanese American community, and in turn, it's motivated me to embark on this project to shed some light on the situation in Taiwan. In the end, my mother was finally allowed to leave Taiwan after my father got a few Alaskan senators to put pressure on the Republic of China government in Taiwan. But first, my mother was required to go through a special exit interview. At the time, she didn't understand the graveness of the situation. Years later, she recalled how she was taken to a windowless room for the interview. It was under these conditions that my parents had to make a difficult choice to leave everything and everyone that they knew behind. This was Taiwan's white terror era. And unfortunately, stories like this were not all that uncommon for people of my parents' generation. Meanwhile, the Taiwanese in Taiwan lived under an extremely oppressive regime. So this is my dream, to tell a story, to make an impact, and leave a legacy. I have over 200 pages written and a book proposal, 
I've gotten a lot of positive feedback from agents that I've queried, acknowledging that this is a worthwhile project. I started off writing the biography in first person from Subing's point of view, but I now believe that writing it in third person will make his story more accessible to a broader audience. This means that a great deal more research is going to have to be done in order to provide readers with greater historical facts and context and different points of view. My plan is to complete the remaining research for Subing's biography in Taiwan, where I will have more direct access to Subing, be able to work with Taiwanese history scholars, and to gather other specialized data as necessary. I'll be blogging about my progress while I'm in Taiwan. While I'm there, I also plan on working on editing the English version of Taiwan's 400 years of history and converting it into an ebook. I'll also continue documenting things on video to go along with all of this footage that I've collected over the years. When I come back, I have all the research necessary to finish the manuscript, and I'll be working with Robin Adams, who's shooting this video to create a short documentary of Subing's life. If you want to support that aspect of my project, I'll credit you as a producer or an executive producer of the documentary. I know not everyone is going to be able to donate. You can do your part by sharing this with others or by donating in other ways, like if you know of a way for me to get a deep discount on my flight tickets to Taiwan, or if anyone would like to recommend or offer accommodations for my stay in Taipei. I believe that this project is about telling a story that needs to be told. It's the story of Taiwan's transition from dictatorship to democracy. It's about how one person can make a difference with persistence, determination, and drive, as Subing has. It's a story to inspire anyone out there wondering if they can make a difference. It's a reminder that we should not take our freedom or civil liberties for granted. Thank you for helping make this piece of history happen.